right, this problem we're going to learn how to use the graphing calculator to calculate the mean and standard deviation of a probability distribution. So in this problem it says determine if a probability distribution has been given. If so, find its mean and standard deviation. And we're looking at the number of tickets at a four speed trap. So we have x equals either 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, and we have the probabilities given there that are associated with that. All right, let's go ahead and enter these values into our calculator and answer these questions. So when we do this, we're going to press the stat key in your calculator, and you're going to want to go to edit, the first option. So you can either press 1 or hit enter. So we're going to hit stat and enter, basically, when we come here. Now you'll notice that in my list, I have data already in the calculator. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete that data. I'm going to arrow up until I get to highlight the L1 heading there. I'm going to hit the clear button after that. Press clear, and then I'll arrow down, and the column will be deleted. I do the same thing on the other side. I arrow up, I press clear, arrow down, and we delete the information in that column. Okay, so now those columns are empty. We're going to go ahead and type in the numbers. So first I'm going to do 0 through 4 in the first column. So 0, enter, 1, enter, 2, enter, 3, enter, 4, enter. I'm going to arrow over and I'm going to type in 0 0.241 then 0.158, so 0.158. Notice I can push the down arrow or I can hit enter. Either one will do it, right? 0.423, enter. 0.091, enter. And 0.087, enter. Now the calculator, when it does its work, is going to answer the first part, which is to determine if there's a probability distribution given. It'll tell us that, and I'll show you how it does that. But here's how you finish the problem. Once you have the data entered, you're going to press the stat key. You're going to arrow over to the right to where it says calculate, and you're going to hit enter to select one variable statistics. Now the calculator is blinking at us. What it wants to know from us is what lists are involved in our calculation. So we need to tell it list one and list two, because that's the way we enter the data. So I want to hit the second key and the number one, which is going to bring up that little yellow L1 onto our screen. Then we need to hit a comma. The comma key is above the seven on the calculator, so we hit that comma key, and we're going to hit second L2, number two. When we hit enter now, we're going to have the work we need. What it's going to give us is the mean, and the standard deviation. Notice it gives you population standard deviation because it recognizes that this is in fact a probability distribution. And the way it knows that is that it uses n to total up these probabilities. So actually our n here is actually going to give us the sum of this column. If that n is 1, then we know it's a probability distribution. So because it adds up to 1, we know that these probabilities sum to 1, and it means it's a probability distribution, assuming that all these probabilities are reasonable. We can't have anything over 1, we can't have anything negative. As long as that's true, that all of these are normal probabilities, and then when they sum, they sum up to 1, it means it's a probability distribution. And that will show up in the calculator as n equals 1. And if the calculator sees that that's 1, it will give you this as the population standard deviation because it knows that you have all the probability and all the possible outcomes, therefore, as a result. So it gives you the pop population standard deviation, which is correct, and the mean, which is 1.625 in this case. And that's it.